Hi everyone, it's Kathy Maxson. Today we are going to do a witch and a cauldron. Um, we are going to make this 3D. Um, I picked this up from the Dollar Tree. It's uh, just one of these hanging, um, I think it's just like a door hanger. Um, I had a cauldron and we had cut it in half like a year ago, I think, because I had another project I was going to do. My husband cut it in half and I never did it. So we are going to use, finally, use my half. Um, you, the, we're going to end up gluing the cauldron, and as you can see, it's going to be a little smaller than what is here, but that's okay. Um, you can pick them up, Party City. Um, this, I think a friend gave me, so I just had that. Um, it was a little smaller, and I didn't really like that it had the words and stuff on it, but that's okay. Um, so my husband cut it in half. I just wanted him to practice cutting them in half before he took my good ones and cut them in half. But I think I have an 8 inch um, one. And then we're going to use these ornaments. We're going to be putting them in the top. So it looks like we're cooking up a brew. We're going to 3D our witch. Um, I'm going to do some Maj Paj and tissue paper. So most of my video, just to let you know, most of my video is already recorded and I am outside on my deck. So let's get started. Let's show you where I'm at. So this will break now into the regular video. So what I'm doing on my witch, I'm using some Maj Paj. I ripped some tissue paper. I kind of want to give my witch a 3D look a little bit. So I just have shredded tissue just laying down, gathering up. kind of want it to look like it's her dra or her um, cape or whatever she has on. And then Maj Paj over it. I'm going to let it dry. And then we will paint it. And try to highlight some silver I'm still outside. Um, I think my tissue paper and that is dry. I painted the back black. So let's paint the front. I have to make sure I get in all the little crooks and crannies. And then when this is dry, we can come back and do some highlights. I just wanted to give my witch a little dimension. So I will be back when I'm all done painting. Okay, she's all painted black. I'm going to let it dry. We will come back, uh, do some highlights, and I want to show you what we're going to do with the cauldron. Okay, she's all dry. We're going to do some highlights. I have some silver. It is metallic silver. Picked it up at Hobby Lobby. Had it in my stash. I just have a flat brush. It's a metallic. And I'm just going to try to come in, like dry brush, want to 
Heavy breathing is Lily. She's out on the deck with me. But she insists on laying out in the sun. Just highlight some of these. For her hat. Let's kind of outline her clothing here. Just putting a little bit on my brush. I'm just trying to only get a little bit. Still outside. Sorry, it is a little windy, breezy. want to see how that's looking since I'm sitting over here off to the side just kind of get some highlights in here So I can see. Oh, that's looking kind of cool. I mean, whoa, big wind. But my stuff doesn't uh, blow away. Sorry, there. That's looking pretty good. Um, I brought some green out, and I want to see. I may not like it. I'm just going to see what it might look like giving her face a little green. Um, it is... Washabi acrylic paint. a lot off. And now I got nothing on there. Of course it might look like yellow or something. It's like a neon green. Just trying to That doesn't look too bad. Well, we can even maybe do a little down here so it makes it look like maybe her arm. She's twirling up the pot. Oh, that doesn't look too bad at all. Can you see that? Let's see. Let's lift it up a little so you can see. I know, I'm being outside. It doesn't help. So I want to show you what I've been doing. Let me set this out here to dry. So I have a cauldron. It's so my plan on, I, I had my husband actually, I've had the cauldron for at least a couple years. So I had my husband last year cut it in half. And so this is what it is. I think I got it free. Again, the lighting's bad because I'm outside and under the tent. Um, and what I did, I mixed paint with baking soda. I don't know. Here, let me come out here so you can see it better in the daylight, maybe. Um, I mixed it with baking soda and the black paint. And my plan is to, I can't really see because I can't see my... I plan on gluing that down to the witch. 
to the cauldron and we're going to stick something inside but that is I'm trying to get a better better shot of it I can't see what it looks like but that's so I just need to highlight the witch's brew and get this back set up I want to highlight the witch's brew and I want to try people have done um, make it look rusty so we got a couple things we're gonna do you okay want to kind of highlight the letters I'm gonna try to do those in the gold so I have it's another metallic antique gold from Hobby Lobby let's let's try to make it look rusty first I think Either way, I gotta. I, either way, I gotta let it dry. So what you do, or at least what I've seen people do, is you get your Maj Podge. And we're gonna put a little Maj Podge up. See how good my paintbrushes are. Came right off. I'm gonna do a little Maj Podge. And you sprinkle cinnamon. Who would have thunk, right? So you sprinkle some cinnamon. Should stick to the Maj Podge before it dries. You turn it over. You get a better, another brush. Brush away the excess. And then it's supposed to look rusty. My Maj Podge thing's in the way. So I'm just going to go around, get some Maj Podge in areas, but this is very textured. Um, from the baking soda, okay now I got a bee buzzing me, oh I'm having fun being outside. Just different places I'm gonna stick. Okay, so do I have another dry brush? Brush some of this off. Doesn't really end up being a dry brush because you're using your, I don't know, people make their stuff look super duper cute. So. I don't want my hands in the paint over here. Brush came off. over a little and that's bringing up my uh, that's bringing up my uh, black and my baking soda so I don't want to rub too hard because that just brought all that up so it's been sitting out here for a while should be dry mm, I'll just spots see downstairs I have a monitor so I could tell if I'm in the screenshot so I'm sorry if I'm not So it's looking a little bit rusty. Like I said, the um, I'll have to fix this spot. I'll actually show you how.
I should have just left it like it was. Can't say I really like the little cinnamon look. But too late now, right? We're going all in. some of it off without taking my black stuff off. I think that's why they say try to, you know, do it right away. smell good. I'll show you what I did there. How we made the black. Oh, on my black. So all I did don't need a lot. Um, I threw my baking soda in my paint and I wanted to make like a paste I want it a little thicker than you know what it, what the paint really is and then I just kind of dabbed it on so we'll just dab that on Kind of chunk it up right there where it came off so you can't see when it dries when it dries you won't hopefully be able to tell that I did a boo-boo that's what we have so far um, I'll come back we'll add some silver highlights because it looks like with my cinnamon I did have some silver highlights in there, but I think I did it when the black was still wet. What I'm trying to go for is like an old, rusty looking cauldron. And then we'll come back, we'll use the gold, we'll kind of highlight the letters. So those will stand out, we'll highlight um, the rings on the side, and then we'll add some silver highlights. And then the witch should be dry, and then at that time we're gonna try, we're gonna try, to glue that to that board to give it a 3D. Okay, so what I came up with, I'm trying to just dry brush around the edges to try to bring the letters out a little better. So I did the brew. Um, I've painted over a couple times because I didn't like I didn't like the C that we were doing. Um, I tried the paint the um, a paint stick paint pen that's what it's called paint pen and I didn't like it so all I'm doing is I kind of get some on my brush and I'm coming up the back I just want to kind of highlight this bump is all I'm trying to do. So then on the inside, I'll try to come up this way. Almost looks like it's got tiger stripes, but just kind of want to give it a little bit so it 
This was just one of the um, cauldrons that I have. Well, like I said, I think somebody gave me this one, I believe. Um, I got my other ones at Party City. So if you're looking for some cauldrons, I did get mine at Party City um, probably a year ago. Uh, I think I checked online. I think they still had some. I want to say I did. I checked somewhere. So if you're going to do this, pick up the witch's brew. It was a hanging, it's a hanging, um, I plugged the hole at the top of the witch. Oops. Can't really see my S here. Uh, pick yourself up some, we're going to put some mini, I got some lights, I got orange lights, mini lights, uh, just today at Dollar Tree. I may have to pretty up this S, I may come in here with some black to, you know, make it so I can see... So we can see that looks like an S. Pick up some mini um, ornaments if you have, or if not, if you have some. That's great because we're going to fill the cauldron. I did pick up some mini lights. We only had orange today at my uh, Dollar Tree. So they did have um, mini ornaments. I think I got an orange, a black, and a was it green? Maybe it was. I don't know if it was green or not. I know I got three. So this is all I did. Kind of try to come up to hit that bump. I was going to say, it didn't sound like Lily, but it is. She's outside. She hears a truck. You can see what it says. I like this down here better than I like this up there. So I may fix it. Um, so I think the next step is what we're going to do is we're going to be gluing this cauldron. It's a little smaller than the one here that our witch has. But uh, this is where it's going to go. And maybe what I can do is the chunky, the paint, maybe I can do that along the outside. Um, I was looking, I didn't have any black E6000, so we may have to do the clear E6000 and uh, hot glue, just so it'll set up. Um, I'm going to put a styrofoam, pick up uh, this from Dollar Tree, I'm going to stick this on the inside, um, then I cut myself a... Uh, the white foam that you get at the Dollar Tree. I just cut myself up because what's going to happen, um, I'm going to put this up in here. So then when I put the bulbs and stuff in, it'll sit right on that styrofoam. I won't have to put a lot of stuff in it. You can um, throw, you know, newspaper or something inside there and then give yourself a base. But that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to touch this up until I like it. And then we will try to come back and glue it. Here's our witch that we 3 d We did the tissue paper. We painted it black. We highlighted with silver. Just to give her a look, we gave her like a green face. I don't know how much you could see when I was outside, how much you could see. I don't know how much you can still see. Maybe I have my light there. 
and then this is what we did with the witch's brew so I took paint and black paint and baking soda and I made kind of like a paste so it would give me a texture so this has texture on it I did realize I forgot to highlight and um, I was gonna do it with the gold like I did the witch's brew um, I cleaned this up so now I'm gonna get it glued where I want it I got my hot glue and I got my e6000 and remember we're gonna use our styrofoam so I'm gonna put styrofoam came from the Dollar Tree I'm going to turn it this way so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to put my styrofoam in there. So then when it's at the bottom, it gives me about an inch space to put in um, the ornaments. And then I made this little thingy out of the white foam board. I just want to make sure I could slide that in, that I didn't have to put that in now. So I could slide that in when I'm done but I kind of want um, my cauldron to at least match up there and I think maybe what I will do I didn't have black e6000 I looked online Walmart didn't have any either um, my local Walmart so I did not go and pick any up I guess I will have to try and get some. I have my fine, I have this E6000, and I have, it comes with some tips. So I don't need a thin tip, but I think I used that one already. So we'll use the one I've used already. I painted it red, I tried to clean it out, so we'll see if it's cleaned out. I think this black thing is like a little plug so nothing comes out you just screw that one on so what I'm gonna do I'm going to put e6000 on most of it and we're gonna come back with the hot glue gun and get some spots touched I need to find a regular tip I think I want to say I just bought some because I have that one that has no tip and then I have this one that's a fine tip so I'm gonna e6000 like I said in some spots we'll hot glue the rest I'll fast forward to this. Back. We can make that black paste. Can we go 
have some glue that's in here in spots just to make sure it touches strings all over you can let it dry we can come back with a brush so now when I stick this in here do oopsie I'm gonna put glue on top of the styrofoam just to hold this down because obviously you're not gonna fill it with the ornaments and stuff all the way down back downstairs I'm like oh I should have done some texture on the the spoon too but I didn't so then basically all I'm gonna do is we're gonna start filling it up with the ornaments they didn't have any green so we got purple orange and black I don't even have any green I think some of the green I had was um, I'm actually going to put this here so I don't go rolling all over my table. I do have some lights. So I think what we should do is maybe put like a lot of black down first. I'm going to um, we're gonna glue them in, hot glue them in. I just want to make sure I shouldn't have my glue gun on my left. So I'm just going to rotate I'm just going to glue around the top and a little bit on the ball and try not to get it on the wires. We don't want to burn the wires because then they're going to short circuit, right? Just like 
Be very careful with your hot glue. sticking anything. <laughs> and kind of come in here, glue them to each other a little bit. Just want to make sure this first base sits down good. Because then when we come back and add more to the top, Now I can actually have two hands. How about that? See the bro dabber comes in handy for everything, huh? They like have two or three. Shoot. better option to glue them that way. That one's done in Trying to hide so that you can't see that they're ornaments. Does that make sense? This is how it looks. It's starting to get dimensional there.
I even seen somebody have um, some stuffing. So they did some stuffing so it made it look like the smoke billowing out. Oops. Really wish I had green. there and the back wall and over here um, there there it's going to sit on that one how it's looking and we can even make some try to make some come over the edge but I don't know that's gonna work now we will squeeze this one right in here Okay, we got my black paint. I'm gonna mix some baking soda. Remember, we're looking for like a paste.
brush. And then try to get it down here. stuck in your brush. So I'm hoping that's going to help hide my blue imperfections. My baby wipes, they always come in handy. So let's see, this is what we got. should hide my as long as it dries good and doesn't dry like the clear glue I think uh, we got a winner there need to pick up some more so the black paint I use apple barrel just black I need to pick up more because I am out I want to shut the lights off and see how this glows let me put this back in the Odabra. Oh, and I shut, oh, I shut the power off to my light. <sighs> I want the lights off. But yeah, I think that turned out pretty cute. Like I said, I should have uh, did some texture on the, uh, on the broom handle. And that is our witch, the cauldron. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to get some pictures. I'll wait till the paint dries so I can uh, pretty up the sides and add some silver and that in there just so it blends it all in, just so it doesn't look like I just have wet paint on there. So I'll let the paint dry and we'll get pictures. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.